proposals regarding, among other things, land distribution, decolonizing education, and ushering in a socialist, democratic, and progressive order. Zapo Chairman Nelvis Kagema joins us now uh, to look at their manifesto. Good evening, sir. Thanks uh, very much um, for your time. Now, your priority issue, as uh, you call them, number one, according to your 20-plus uh, page manifesto document, is to, and I quote, build black power and restore our people's human dignity. Now, in, in very real practical terms, what exactly do you mean by that? Uh, thank you, Vuyo. Now, you have to understand, as you do, that uh, Azapo is a black power movement. Uh, it believes in black consciousness, as espoused by Stephen Bandubiko. And then, therefore, Azapo <coughs> is not and will never be a rainbow organization, because in a rainbow, there's lack of color, and we are in this struggle to add the color black, the blackness in that rainbow. And so for us, a, uh, as a Zappo, a, the restoration of the dignity of black people is very important, and the restoration of the humanity of black people is, is very important, it's very key, it's critical, because remember, for about 500 years, uh, these people had their culture almost destroyed, I mean, their value systems, I mean, these people have lost hope. These people, as Steve Bigos says, they have now become an empty shell. They lack hope. They lack everything. And so we are in this for that. You can see the examples for that. For instance, um, if you look at issues of uh, housing, for instance, even when we have our own government, now ourselves in government now as black people, and we are supposed now to be ditching, I mean, service delivery in a manner that uh, eradicate, you know, the, uh, the legacy of colonialism, what do we do? Uh, we ditch out a uh, Mikuku, we ditch out RDPs, and then once you do that uh, to the whole world, you are saying, you yourself, to your own people, that your people uh, lack dignity. And then in fact, you are endorsing, you are accentuating that. And uh, how would you do it if you take the housing example that you cited? Now, the first thing that uh, Azapo will do, it will be the realization that uh, we've now been in democracy for about uh, 25 years. 25 years is too long. It is a lifetime. Uh, so as Azapo, what is important would be that uh, to establish a a state housing corporation, and then we say, look, a, we are not going to a, uh, you know, provide housing uh, through the commercial routes, through the privatized route, through the commercial banks, because uh, the banks you know, have no regard for our people because we have seen how the banks behave. Uh, the banks are actually anti-black. When, when people want housing, they are looking, they are going for profit, and then they provide, you know, a unsecured credit facilities where, for instance, for them, uh, they would rather give you a, a one million car rather than a house and a lifetime living a shelter where your, your, rig, your, your, your dignity at least uh, will be intact. So for us, a state corporate housing will be very important and the building societies and then we'll build decent housing not the kind of thing where you have only one room and then the cooking the sleeping and the talking and the everything the studying of the children and in fact a, a, a elderly people can't even have their uh, conversations at night because the children are still awake I'm looking at the other five of your six uh, priorities other than, of course, building uh, black power and uh, restoring people's human dignity, as you say. Redistribution of land and wealth, improving public education, creating jobs, combating crime. You don't appear too different, really, from the rest, or, or am I missing the point here? No, definitely you are missing the point there. Remember that a, a, a Zappo, like we have said, is a pro-black 
organization and unapologetically black because we believe we enter a parliamentary politics as another site of struggle for the continuation of uh, the revolution. And so therefore we're here you know, to continue the revolution, not just to, uh, to be in a pic picnic and enjoy and we end there. And so therefore for us, that's why for instance we say, I've listened for instance, uh, President Ramaphosa have talked about a, the reduction of cabinet ministers. We think that is too little. Actually, what Azapo is saying, it, is, it has been saying for, from time immemorial, is that actually what this government needs to do a, is, to, is to abolish the provincial government. There is no reason why a small country like this is governed by you know, 10 governments, uh, you know, if you take central government and then the nine provinces I, I, by 10 presidents, uh, you know, by 10 everything, and then look at the money that goes into the, you know, all the governments, the MPs, the province, um, I mean, uh, the bodyguards and so forth. Look at uh, the two capital, uh, capitals, one in Cape Town, one in, uh, uh, one in Pretoria. There is no logic for that other than that we're trying to appease you know, a, a white interest and whiteness. And so therefore, we're completely different as a ZAP. If statistics are anything to go by, parties that suffer annihilation uh, during elections never really recover. Well, none has done so in the past um, 25 years. They tend to disappear and die. Why, why, why do you think that's not going to happen or that's where Azapo is? No, no, Azapo will never die. <clears throat> First because and primarily because, fundamentally because uh, Azapo is a black people's organization and uh, you would have to uh, commit a genocide against black people, kill every black people on earth and that's when you can hope that uh, uh, Azapo will not be there. For as long as black people are there, inequality, poverty, unemployment, uh, indignity is there. Azapo will always be there because Azapo is pro-black. And but they didn't come in sufficient numbers in the last election. They, they, that is correct. And then and they, they, they didn't. And that is because of uh, the structure of electoral politics in a capital system. And remember, for them to know that anything and everything has happened, they've got to see it through you, the media. And then um, I'm sure you will be the first to agree with me that your people uh, that is the ENCA viewers do not know what happened over this weekend. The massive, the massive, I mean, launch of Azapo Manifesto in a rural area, stadium full, the more, more well -running stadium full. So because they didn't see that, they are likely to think it didn't happen. That is why, as Azapo, we've changed approach to say, to rely on the media and all the other things, particularly the commercial media, is probably to replace a, a money with people. We go to the people, talk to the people, I mean, door to door work with the people, and then social media will be another strategy but we cannot and we will not uh, rely solely and, and exclusively on money because there is no busasa that is going to uh, fund an azapo that is anti-corruption there is no uh, group that is going to fund an azapo that is anti-corruption okay that's where we're going to leave it for this evening thanks very much for coming through azapo